So logistic functions have this form f of x equals l over 1 plus a e to the bx, where l, a, and b are constants. They're parameters that can be changed depending on what we need the graph to do. If b is less than 0, we get the increasing logistic curve. If b is greater than 0, we get the decreasing logistic curve. Notice that it levels off at the bottom and at the top in both cases. So, in either case, we have a domain of negative infinity to infinity, and the range is going to be from 0 to L. So the lower limiting value is always going to be 0, the upper is always going to be L, which if you look, comes straight from the function. Now, depending on which one we're looking at, it's either always increasing or always decreasing, and they're both continuous over all reals. They have two horizontal asymptotes. So this is the first graph that we've seen that has this. There's one that's always going to be at zero, and then the other one will always be at L, which again is this upper parameter for a logistic function. Let's talk a little bit about the concavity. Notice in both cases it switches. If it's increasing, it goes from concave up to concave down. This is kind of like our data that we saw in the computer problem. If b is greater than 0, it goes from concave down to concave up, which means in both cases, we have a point of inflection. Now, one other thing is the end behavior. I'm going to leave this as an exercise for you guys to do, figure out what is the limit as x goes to negative infinity and x goes to positive infinity, depending on whether b is negative or positive.